Welcome back to a new Boom Beach video, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the newest proto troops from the Boom Beach team on a development build given to me by Supercell. We're going to see three new proto troops in today's video, so get ready. And we also are going to be going over some update notes for the next upcoming Boom Beach update. So let's jump into it. So we're going to be jumping into these proto troops later, but as of now, just to give you guys some spice, we're going to be seeing the cryo tank hopefully soon which is a new proto troop. We're going to be seeing the incinerator and we're also going to see the protector. Now the protector is going to be coming up next, I think in a couple days for you guys. I honestly can't wait just because the protector looks like an amazing troop. I'm going to be showing you gameplay of the protector only. We only have pictures of the other two and uh, I really can't wait to jump into this video and do some speculation, but also show you some real gameplay of the upcoming proto troops. But before we jump into it, we're going to be going over some of the major changes coming in this update. Besides the new proto troops, there really isn't much, but I mean, we're still going to be showing it to you because the proto troops themselves look amazing and I can't wait to be trying them on my main base. First, something that you've been wanting for a long time is you're going to get dialogues for the shop in the trader. And I mean, that's something we've been wanting. A lot of people have accidentally spent stuff and you'll see it's for everything and not just for diamond offers. Also, make sure you use code COSMIC in the shop if you want to support us. It really does help. Anyway, with that being said, the other big changes is now in warships, the win percentage is going to be computed a different way. Instead of wins divided by losses, it's now going to be wins divided by total battles and then also warship player names that you come in contact with the opponents are not going to be visible to you so it's going to kind of suck that we're not going to be able to find each other anymore i know it's the other person but i mean if you see my base design shoot it my way or something on discord anyway that being said we also got some slight changes to the shock launcher just some duration and damage changes so now let's jump into the part you all have been waiting for gameplay of the protector now i'll get the stats in a second but i just want to mention the other two new prototypes that we're going to be getting we're getting the cryo tank and we don't know when these are coming in and i don't have gameplay I only have gameplay of the protector but we're getting the cryo tank which i'm guessing is going to be like a cryonier in a tank form and then this is the troop i'm waiting for the incinerator it looks like a beefed up scorcher like i can't wait until this comes out into the game. Anyway, the Protector, here's what's gonna happen. She's a passive troop. If you honestly thought the Protector wasn't gonna be a passive troop, I don't know what you're thinking. This girl is from the tutorial. I think she's called like the tutorial girl or the native or the Islander or something, but she's now gonna be a troop you can battle with. So here's her stats. At level 22, she has very little health. She costs a lot to train. She's very fast and she stands very close to your troops. Now again, she doesn't deal damage. What she does is she gives your troops a crystal shield. I'm just gonna give myself one Scorcher just because you can't really see the Islanders in, or sorry, the Protectors in action unless you have a troop that deals damage. So we're gonna jump into this player here. This is actually Zedmal, another Boom Beach YouTuber. Definitely go check him out. And I'm gonna just drop one boat of these islanders and you'll see they're tossing or protectors i don't know why i keep calling them islanders you'll see they're tossing uh, a shield around the scorcher now their movement is a little messed up we're actually going to shock the shock launcher that has a pretty good base on me right now <laughs> but they're going to be giving your scorcher a crystal shield and every time they fire at your scorcher they're going to be giving it a new shield so if you don't know what a crystal shield is Basically, it's a Dr. Kavan, or originally was a Dr. Kavan ability, but since it moved on to just a Gumbo ability coming out during special events. Basically, what that shield does is first, defenses have to kill the shield before they can kill your troop. Now, all these girls will not actually toss shields on themselves. You'll see here, the wounded ones aren't getting tossed shields. So we're going to be bringing more tanks in the next battle, but you can see it here. They're not getting shields and also their health bars are originally blue. I don't think the Islanders themselves have shields, even though it is blue. We're going to bring some tanks so you can see these girls actually in action where they're useful. So again, you wouldn't bring all protectors. That probably would not be the move to make. So what happens if we go half and half? Now, I also think bringing a couple medics might be 
good for you? Just because the medics will heal up your islanders. And I think that would be probably the move to make. Okay. We'll take down the shock launcher. Just so it doesn't keep hitting us. And this is what I like to see. So, again, the islanders will shoot little rays of shields on your troops. And it will allow your troops to just have more health and last longer. Honestly, it's a really cool idea. The shields, of course, need to be blown up before defenses can hit them. And it looks so cool. Like, doesn't that look cool? Don't tell me that doesn't look cool. I'm going to be trying it with warriors next just to see if they deal splash damage and if they cast a shield over a couple troops or if it's just one troop. And I think warriors would be the best way to test that out. So, again, these troops will stand very close to your original troops. Very close, like, closer than medics will, I think. And they'll just be casting shields, and the shields need to break before troops can hit them. So you can see my tanks are honestly lasting a really long time. I've only lost a couple, but I am losing quite a few amount of my protectors. Just because they don't have that much HP, they die really fast, and it seems like their, their walking style is a little weird. It seems like every prototroop walks a little bit weird. They're not as polished, or maybe that's just how they're supposed to be. They walk like the Cryoneer, if you need a troop to compare them against. So now let's try all warriors and one boat of the protectors to see if they deal splash damage. Now remember, this is a normal proto troop, which means that we'll just drop uh, some critters here to take out some mines. But this is a normal proto troop, which means it's the same upgrade system for these troops as it was for all proto troops and if you don't know what that upgrade system was i'm gonna link a video right here it's basically explaining how proto troops work and their upgrade system so i'm not really going to be jumping into that so it looks like it does deal splash damage and it also the the shields drain by themselves and uh, I don't think Warriors is the move to make with these protectors. Honestly, if I had to give you my two cents for these protectors, I would say tanks probably want the better troops. Maybe like a Grenadier strategy, bring a couple protectors, or like a Bombardier strategy, just because the Bombardiers will stand so far back, the protectors can just hit the Bombardiers and not hit Bullet if you're using Bullet to tank. So there's a lot of different strategies you can use with these protectors, and I honestly can't wait to keep playing with them when they come to the main base. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you liked the video, please drop a like. It really does help us out, and it brings us up on the YouTube algorithm, so definitely do that. Also, make sure you use code COSMIC in the shop to help support us, and go join our Discord server down below to talk to us. And I'll see you in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.